What is up, Wild Squad? Hope you're all doing well. So right now, it is cold out. It's rainy out. It's not quite cold enough here in South Carolina for it to be snow. So it's just really cold and really rainy right on that cusp. And I've been going through today trying to find some coin methods for you guys that y'all can use to build up your stack before the rest of Zero Chill because we got a lot of stuff coming. And what I was thinking about doing in this video was the cheapest way to get training and snow because they kind of go hand in hand. You can convert training over into snow and all that stuff. But right now, the market is just really, really high and everything's pretty expensive. There's not a great cheap way to get snow. Obviously, if you want to go do that, you can just go and snipe it. But you can see that on this spreadsheet down below that I have linked that one is free also some of y'all have been asking about the channel memberships that I opened up yesterday it's five dollars if you want to sign up for that the spreadsheet is linked down below if you're on mobile you might not see the join button I don't know why that is but the link is in the description to join up if you do want to join that and see that spreadsheet that goes over a couple of methods and it's a really great way to make coins so go check that out but what I wanted to talk about today since it's kind of a limbo day on Thursday we're getting content tomorrow and then we're getting a big content drop it does sound like on Monday I wanted to talk about how you can do a couple of different ways to make coins and some of these methods I'm going to go over are pretty guaranteed they're pretty glitchy ways that you can do every single time and get guaranteed coins and some of them are going to be a little bit risky but let's go ahead and get into that after a quick word from our sponsor boys if you're looking to add that brand new shiny player to your team in madden don't gamble with packs hit up red zone coins for cheap fast reliable coins to help build your team Use code WAS to get 20% off your order. All right, and as we do get in this first method here, if y'all want to build your coins back up, build the best team that you can a month, be sure to subscribe with the Noti Bell on because that is a lot about what we talk about on this channel. And also, we're going to be doing a 100,000 coin giveaway at the end of this video, so be sure to stick around and see how to enter for that one, all that good stuff. Okay, the first one we're going to talk about is one I talked about yesterday, and we're not really going to go into it too much in depth because, you know, it's pretty, pretty easy here, is the get a player method, okay? So all it is is you just roll the pack, you get all the cards. I recommend doing like 25, 50, maybe even 100,000 coins rolled into it. it does take a while to roll a lot of it but you're really looking for power-ups any elites maybe a coin card or two if you get lucky and then of course these 75 overall frozen zero chill players because those are selling for like a minimum of 20 or 30 thousand coins and some of them the johnny smith i know is selling for about 60 thousand coins so that's something you can really do right now and then if you want to have a little more detail on the gap method go and check out my video from last night. i think it was called like best budget method right now to do in madness so go check that one out if you want a little more details because there are a couple of good ways that you can exchange those cards up but go check that one out you're not going to go too much into detail during this video and the next method here is really good i always talk about this one i always advocate that and that is just sniping and flipping cards on the auction house again we're not gonna go too crazy into depth on this one but just looking at some of these cards guys people are really desperate right now to either get really cheap training or just buy up cards and improve their team now you really shouldn't be doing that right now if you're watching my videos you should know that you should go and try to improve your team on christmas day because everyone's going to be opening up all those christmas presents and all that stuff and we're going to see a very big market crash more than likely so right now the market is up pretty high 90s are about 60,000. they were at about 50,000 a couple of days ago they were even lower than that beforehand the good thing about prices being up across the board is that there's always a lot of people undercutting and stuff so one of my favorite filters actually is 91 and i like 89 so people when they're going and buying training and people are trying to buy up a lot of training right now to convert it over into snow is to go through these filters here the program you go on down here to about legends i think legends are a very good filter and they're going to be good throughout this weekend so we see 60,000 is kind of what we're looking for here only filtering down right now by just legends we already have one here that would make us about 3,000 coins profit let's actually filter down a little bit further here go all the way down by defense and see if we can't get a little bit lower there so we know that we could sell for about 60,000 nothing really lower right there let's go to left outside linebacker that 51,000 might actually be the best one right now on the legends uh, but let's go actually go back and see at the 60,000 is what I just kind of saw originally on for the 90s but if we go down a little bit yeah you could actually sell these guys for about 63 or 64 so that one is actually not really bad we're actually gonna go buy that if he's still there if he's still there when we get back we're gonna buy him we're gonna profit about five six thousand coins yeah, he's still there. We're going to buy him for 51,000. So I bought him up. I'm going to put him up for about 64,000 coins. Then after tax, we're going to profit about 5,000 coins. Another one that I really like, not just the 90 to 91 overalls. If you go to the 89s, the 89s are really good. And then you can also go by Legends. You can go by any of the Wild Card Wednesday cards that we're getting. So looking down here at the 89s, we could probably sell for about 41,000 or so. That's about 37,000 after tax we were to sell. So filtering down, you know, you may or may not be able to get a pretty good one here. We'll go look at Legends. Uh, these are going to be really good on Saturday and Sunday when we do get the Legends packs. So that is something you can definitely take a look at. It doesn't look like going all the way down here. It doesn't look like there's going to be anything great in the store right now. There's just a lot of 88s here. And, you know, 30 that's about a 2,000 coin profit there on that Lin Swan. That's nothing crazy. That's not, nothing I'm going to go after. And the last filter that I would recommend you taking a look at is the 50 guys. Now, if you're watching this still on Thursday, if you're watching this on Friday, this is not going to be a good filter. Oh, there might be a good filter on Friday. But see how much like, more expensive these 84s are. See, these are about 21,000. If we unfilter down and we go just by 84s, they're going for what, like 8,000? Yeah, 8,000 or so. So obviously, the uh, 50 cards are going for a lot, lot more. And that's because they're going to be going into 
into sets tomorrow for whoever we get from the 50. So if you want to sit on this filter, you can. You can go by newest. Y'all know when you're going by newest, you want to filter down all the way so that you know you're getting the newest cards of all time. So make sure you're going to like all offense, all that stuff. And you want to see that 59 minutes or so in the bottom left there and make sure you're getting a good one. That's 18,000 actually. That's not a bad one. We could put him up for uh, 24,000 and people will buy that. So we're not going to buy it right now just because. But that's about a 3,000 coin profit or so. So you can definitely go and do that. Just sit on the newest filter. All of these extra snipes. If they're selling for 24,000 and after tax, that's going to be about a little under 22,000 every single one of these is going to be profit so if you want to go do that you just want to nickel and dime your way up to 1000 2000 you can definitely go and do that but just be aware other people might be doing the same so you might be might be pretty competitive to snipe these cards and this is that 90 overall that we snipe we're putting them up on the auction house be sure when you're doing this you only put them up for an hour because you, they're usually not going to sell until that final 10 minutes or so and then you undercut a little bit 64,000 is about where i decided i wanted to sell so i'm undercutting it just a little bit there to make sure i'm undercutting some of the other prices on there okay now that we're done with the guaranteed load budget or so coin methods let's go ahead and get into the more fun ones that are not for peasants i am obviously kidding i don't like the gap method personally because it takes so long and i'm lazy but sniping cards on the auction house and flipping them is how i make the majority of my coins let's go ahead and talk about these are going to be a little more risky ones okay well, well, well two of them are two of them are going to be more risky one of them is guaranteed but it takes a little more legwork on your end i'll say that so you got the zero chill and the training here you got the re-rolls and it seems like people really like doing the 81 plus re-roll obviously you have the chance here of 81 and 85 plus zero chill i would stay away from the out of position but the 81 and the 85 plus zero chill these are the ones that people are doing a lot of you can reroll with snow or you can reroll with training. Now, I am not going to do this personally right now, and I would recommend you wait until we get some more cards, maybe an LTD or something in packs that you can potentially rip out of these. We might not get that. Maybe the LTDs will be out of a special pack or whatever for Ghost of Madden and all that. But for now, I'm going to hold off on converting my training over into snow. Now, I am planning on converting it to snow with these rerolls, but I've seen people make a ton of coins off of these rerolls. So if you want to risk it, you want to take all your training and convert it over and then use your snow, your presence and all that, roll it into that. You can do that. I am not going to do that right now, and I'm not going to personally recommend that y'all do that right now until we see what's coming later in this promo, maybe with some LTDs and stuff. Because if we get a zero chill player that we can get out of this pack that is an LTD or just more zero chill players in uh, general, that will push the market back up on these cards. They'll go and be expensive again because people are going to want them to complete the sets. Then that is the time that I would recommend you do it. But if you want to go ahead and take your chance, I know people have been doing it for days and making hundreds of thousands, millions of coins, all that good stuff. But that is up to you if you want to take that risk. I am not going to do it right now. All right, guys, I forgot to mention the one. 100,000 coin giveaway at the end of the video so we're going to do it right now the keyword is going to be bo jackson and give me a way to contact you just bo jackson put it in your comments somewhere and then that'll enter you into the 100,000 coin giveaway all right and method number four is finding profitable sets now this is going to kind of harken back to old videos that i've done i've made a lot of videos on coin methods and all that stuff obviously throughout the year on team of the week team affinity you know the mvp all that stuff there are a lot of sets that are profitable to do right now that people are not doing. We are obviously not going to go through all of them right now because there's a ton of them. There's a lot of different sets and you have to go and find them individually. And if I were to make a video on one, then it would no longer be profitable. So I made a video yesterday. The 89 overall team standouts were the focus of that video. And I talked about two guys in that video that were very profitable to do right then. Later in that day, whether it was from my video, it got like maybe 2,000 views or so, whether it was from my video or just people understanding this in general, their value actually tanked, okay? So that is one of the things that you're gonna be getting if you do join up with the channel membership, $5 a month, is I go through and I update, just for example, these 89 overall team standouts, which ones are the best ones to do? Which ones are gonna be your most profitable at any given time? So that's something you're gonna get out of that membership. We'll be adding more in the future, like the 92 overalls. But guys, and we're not gonna go over specific sets here because there's way too many, but if you wanna go and do some more legwork, the one i was talking about that takes a little more work on your part there's some team of the week sets you can do there's some superstar mvps the most feared all that stuff so go take a look find some sets to do and if you can find one that's profitable that can be some guaranteed coins that you just rinse and repeat and just do yourself don't tell a whole lot of other people if you want to tell your buddies or so and just do it and build your coin stack up okay definitely go and look at some sets to do okay the last one i'm going to talk about is by far the riskiest method and i will pretty much never never ever advocate to do this in madden because it's awful it's gambling and that is just opening packs guys okay this is truly the best time to open packs because the market is so high now really all we have i wouldn't really bother with these zero chills the clutch packs if you want i really like the all pro fantasy packs they're only thirty thousand coins so they're not that bad now the reason that i'm saying you might want to just open packs now is because the market is high and the market is not going to be high for now so we're going to open a couple of these all pro fantasy packs you can open 10 i'll probably open three or four we'll see what we do and packs are literally gambling guys that's why this is by far the riskiest method that you can do so the great thing about opening these packs right now let me get a big one let me get a big one come on give me something 83 i wish they had a different animation for the big ones because you never know Oh, another one give me a big one 
No, 81. Okay, that's kind of what I expected. Uh, the great thing about these ones is obviously a lot of what you're going to get is lower tier stuff like the low silvers, golds, all that stuff. But you can always put those into exchange sets to use for different methods. But, but what's really good about this right now is that prices are inflated in the stores and everything. So a lot of these cards have higher value than they typically do. Now, obviously, some of these lower cards don't really. But then you get a zero chill, 83 overall. I'll take that because I can quick sell that for snow. And that's really what you're looking for right there out of these packs. You're just looking for obviously any card. And because the market is higher than it typically is, you can sell these for more than you typically would. So there's our daily objective pack. We'll quick sell that right now. And of course, guys, always be doing your daily objectives and stuff, not just for the daily objectives, the little coin thing there, but then to get your chill factor up. That is one of the ways that you can do that. Uh, I'll post it. We'll, we'll open a few more of these. We'll see if we can't get glitchy with them. But these are just really good to open right now, just with the prices being so high. And when prices do fall on Christmas or whenever they fall in the future, then it's not going to be as profitable to do it. So open packs right now. If you do want to scratch that pack addiction itch, uh, I know it's a lot of fun to go and open packs. I don't, I don't open them very often because they kind of suck, to be honest. And then oh, we got, we got an 86. I mean, we guess we'll take that. But honestly. Uh, you're probably gonna lose coins on this. I'm just letting you know right now whenever you're opening packs You're more than likely gonna lose coins. That's why I'm saying this is the most risky. It's not a method It's not a method at all. I shouldn't call it a method uh, because you're more than likely gonna lose coins But it is a good way just to potentially uh, get lucky if you want to do that and build your uh, binder fodder up and all that stuff If you want to go doing the gap method rather than just spending Forever opening gap packs and man, we're having some rough first rounds right now. We might get one more of these. Let's check our second round. Give me, give me something. Okay, that's how. What is that? A, a blah, 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 82 overall. Dang, I thought that was one of the better ones. 92, and then eesh, team of the week. We can use that, but nothing really great there at all. We'll take the team of the week card because we can use that for another method that I made in my video yesterday. Be sure to go check that one out. Let's open one more and see if we can't get lucky. But this is probably what you're going to get the majority of the time, guys. Yes, you might open this. You might get a 92, 93, 94, what, what, whatever. Uh, but more than likely, you're not going to get a whole lot out of it. So just something to be aware of. But this is the best time to open your packs. Then we got an eight. Okay, that's a really good first round. 84 and an 82. I'll take that out of the first round. If that is any indication of the second round, then we're going to be good to go here. But okay, okay, okay. Was a standout? No, it's a rising star. Yes, James Conner. I'll take that. And then an elite. Okay, uh, they, you know that's not bad. That's not bad. Could could have been worse, uh, but you know not 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 the worst in the world. So those were thirty thousand coins. Let's go look really quick just to see how much we lost. I'm pretty sure we lost a good little bit of coins, but you know you always have the chance of getting something good, and that's really what you're hoping for, obviously, when you open packs. But I want to see how much the eighty nines are going for and everything. I know we profited on that pack at the very least, but other than that, I don't think we did. We got a whole lot. Let's see, James Conner here, the eighty nine overall is going for 40,000 roughly so that's not too bad maybe we'll sell them for a little more so obviously we profited on that pack uh other than that i think our best was what an 86 overall uh taron armstead so he's probably this is probably going for what, 20 thousand or so 18 thousand so nothing too bad there but overall we don't we all open for these so we probably lost on them but those are just a couple methods y'all can take advantage of right now if you're trying to make coins before the rest is zero chill now like i said if y'all do want to join the channel membership it is down below if you're on desktop i think on mobile it's not there so there's a link in the description like some of y'all were asking about that so you have to go click the link and then you should be able to join that way let me know if y'all have any issues with joining and all that stuff you get access to the spreadsheet with new coin methods coming out uh, old coin methods the team standouts updated all that good stuff and i'll put the two coin methods from yesterday on the screen right now if you want to go check those out but thank you all so much for watching you are the mvps and as always i'll see y'all in the next one